coin with the image of the goddess of the moon. At the bottom of the sea of off the coast during underwater work, Israeli archaeologists found a coin which is about 1,850 years old. A bronze coin in very good condition was found at the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea near the beach near Haifa. It depicts the goddess Moon. She personifies the planet satellite of the same name, as well as the zodiac sign Cancer. The artifact probably belongs to a series of 13 coins, 12 of which correspond to the signs of the zodiac. The latter with the full zodiac wheel. Scientists believe that the coinage was in Egyptian Alexandria, and on the found coin there is an inscription the eighth year. This corresponds to the reign of Emperor Antonius Pius, who led the Roman Empire from 138 to 161 AD. Such finds, which have lain at the bottom for hundreds of years, speak of close ties between ports in ancient times. Tomb of the Polish King Casimir IV Jagiellon when it was first found, the researchers jokingly said that it, like other royal tombs, could be cursed and would take the lives of many people. They were right. Some of the archaeologists and researchers who examined the remains of the royal body and the coffin made of wood died tragically from unknown infections and heart attacks. Four more people died under strange circumstances. Then, over the course of several years, the researchers from the group died from various diseases, including cancer. In total, more than 15 people died from those who studied the royal remains. Soon, doctors found the killer. It turns out to be the spore fungus Aspagellus flavus, which at one time caused many deaths after the opening of the tomb of Tutankhamun. Scientists have come to the conclusion that people with excellent health and resistance to various spores and fungi should open tombs and engage in research so as not to become victims of another ancient curse. Saint Anne's English Medieval Well According to legend, there is a real healing well near Liverpool, which was attributed to Saint Anne. A well was built in honor of the mother of the Virgin Mary Anne around 1066 AD. It was said that it could heal from all diseases, especially from diseases of the skin and eyes. The well was located on the territory of the temple, was under the protectorate of monks. One day, the local landowner Hugh Darcy came to the abbot, Father Dalvaney, asking him to free the land in his favor. The Holy Father refused the request and decided to help ensure that the lands of this person no longer belonged to him. And then the monks were evicted from the monastery by royal decree. When Dalvaney passed by the former temple, he saw the same Darcy at the wall. He had good relations with the local authorities, thanks to which he was able to easily take possession of the wall. The Holy Father was furious when he realized that the landowner was behind everything. He imposed the curse of the serpent, striking a dishonest person and his conquest will not bring him benefit and glory, because Saint Anne will bruise his head. Darcy demolished all buildings in the area, and he constantly said that he was being pursued by a dark, sinister force, that he felt that evil was coming. A few months later, his beloved son died from an unknown disease. Darcy's lifelong work suffered heavy losses. It all ended with the fact that one night Darcy was pretty drunk and in the morning he was found at a healing well with a broken head. The Secret Room of the Neanderthals Gorham Caves, located in the southeastern part of Gibraltar on the Mediterranean side, are named after the British military who found them in 1907. Experts have been exploring the Vanguard Avangard Cave, which is part of this complex since 2012, when new large-scale excavations began there. Experts are trying to determine its true dimensions and check if there are passages and chambers covered with sand. In August 2021, a team of scientists led by Clive Finlayson, an evolutionary biologist and director of the Gibraltar National Museum, stumbled upon a gap that was widened to the point where humans could crawl. The breach left 
led scientists to a 13-meter chamber at the top of the cave, where stalactites hung from the ceiling and traces of an ancient earthquake were observed. This is a real room. Its opening can be linked to the opening of the tomb of Tutankhamun, can be likened to the opening of the tomb of Tutankhamun. You find yourself in a space in which no one has been for 40,000 years. This is amazing. Inside the chamber were the bones of a lynx, the vertebrae of a spotted hyena, a fragment of a vulture griffin's wing, and a large shell. Six or seven scratches were found on the walls from the claws of some medium-sized animal, possibly the same lynx. In the Vanguard cave itself, a lot of evidence of the long-term presence of Neanderthals was found. Traces of hearth, stone tools, the remains of killed animals, including deer, mountain goats, seals and dolphins. Four years ago, researchers also found a milk tooth from a four-year-old Neanderthal child, probably torn apart by hyenas. The team hopes that the study of the new chamber, as well as additional lateral branches, will lead them to an unusual burial site, since the Neanderthals were unlikely to leave the remains of their fellow tribesmen near the hearth. Irish Shrink Forts Ring fortifications are a type of ancient Irish settlement surrounded by several levels of banks and a moat. Over time, the buildings were no longer used, they forgot their meaning, and the locals began to believe that they belonged to fairies. Therefore, it is impossible to visit places so as not to anger the little people. On the other hand, ring forts attract attention, as it is believed that leprechauns hide their gold in pots there. Other ring monuments in Ireland are perceived to be approximately the same. The ring is considered a portal to another world, full of adventure. At the same time, buildings are perceived as a dark and gloomy place with negative energy. If there is a ring fort nearby, then you need to treat it with respect and reverence, not try to destroy it, as this will bring on the legendary curse of leprechauns, which manifests itself in the death of livestock, family members, and discord in relationships. In 2011, the same fate befell the Irish developer Sean Quinn, who was left penniless. He was considered one of the most influential and wealthy people in the country, then decided to move the ring forth to another place. He ended up on its territory and interfered with the development of a new quarry. Ghostly Traces of Ancient People Archaeologists have discovered many mysterious ghost footprints in the Great Salt Lake Desert of Utah. According to scientists, the tracks are visible only after rain, they are filled with moisture and become darker. After drying, they disappear again. Initially, the team found only a few traces in July this year. After a thorough inspection of the surrounding area using GPR, at least 88 footprints were identified, belonging to adults and children under 5 years old. Ghost prints were left at least 10,000 years ago when the area was a vast wetland. However, researchers suspect that the footprints could have been left 12,000 years ago during the last ice age. People seemed to be walking in shallow water and the sand quickly filled their tracks, but there was a layer of dirt underneath the sand, which kept the print intact after being filled. Less than 2 kilometers from where the footprints were found, a previous research team found a hunter-gatherer camp dating back 12,000 years ago that could have been inhabited by the people who left the footprints, the scientists said. 2,000-year-old flowers survived the bonfire Almost 2,000 years ago, the inhabitants of ancient Teotihuacan collected bouquets of flowers, put them under the fire, and set them on fire, and so archaeologists have found preserved bouquets. The pyramid was quite large, 23 meters high, higher than the 20-meter Great Sphinx in Egypt, but much lower than the 137-meter Cheops Pyramid. The Teotihuacan Pyramid was part of the Temple of the Feathered Serpent, built in honor of Quetzalcoatl, the serpent deity revered in Mesoamerica. Excavations were carried out in the deepest part of the tunnel, at a depth of 18 meters. In addition to bouquets, scientists found their ceramics and figurines of Tulalek, the deity of rain and fertility. Most likely, the bouquets were ritual and were probably used in fertility rites. Scientists hope they will be able to understand more when they determine the type of flowers. The bouquets were found just a few weeks ago. One of them contained 40 colors, the other 60. 
A large number of burnt pieces of wood were found next to them. Apparently, the flowers were laid on the ground and thrown with a tree. Judging by the amount of wood, it was this what protected the bookcase from fire. The tunnel which is being excavated was found back in 2003. Over the years, thousands of artifacts have been found there – dishes, sculptures, cocoa beans, obsidian, animal remains, and even a miniature landscape with ponds of mercury. Archaeologists still have not fully figured out how the ancient locals created this tunnel and how they used it. Bird from Saqqara have you ever heard of the mysterious story of the Saqqara bird? Perhaps this is one of the most interesting objects that scientists managed to discover at the end of the 19th century. In 1898, an Egyptian archaeologist, Dr. Khalil Masicha, excavated the burial site at Sappho. There, he accidentally discovered an unusual figurine of a bird. It was small and light, but it had a very interesting shape. The body of the figurine resembled a bird, but its wings exactly like the wings of a modern jet plane. They are made as a single element made from a single piece of wood, which is thickened in the middle and thinned at the ends. All this suggests that more than 2000 years ago, the Egyptians had quite serious knowledge in the field of aerodynamics. That is why the find led Egyptologists into confusion, giving rise to many theories and disputes. What's more, when scientists made a copy of the figurine and tested it, they were able to verify that it could glide several meters by simply tossing the model into the air. The opinions of scientists are divided. Some argue that the resemblance of this bird to an airplane is completely accidental, while others believe that its author was an Egyptian genius who actually created a model of a modern aircraft. Chorazin Perhaps it will surprise someone, but Chorazin was once cursed by Jesus Christ himself. In the Gospel of Luke and Matthew, three such cities are mentioned, deprived of the grace of God and cursed by Jesus. The first is Chorazin and the other two are Bethsaida and Capernaum. After Nazareth, Jesus lived in Chorazin for three years and performed miracles, but the inhabitants were deaf and blind to what he did. They did not want and did not even try to turn from the sinful path and change their lives. Then Jesus cursed them for it. Prior to this, Chorazin was mentioned in historical publications referred to as one of the largest and most developed cities of that time. In the 3rd century AD, the city fell into desolation, it was abandoned and plundered. According to the records of the Roman historian Eusebius, in about 330 the city fell into desolation due to a powerful earthquake, which it attributed to God's punishment and the fulfillment of the curse of the Son of Christ. But the dates of the life of Jesus himself and the existence of the city simply did not coincide. Woman in Canoe 800 years ago, mourners buried a young woman in a ceremonial canoe to send her on her last journey to the land of the dead, in what is now Patagonia, according to a new study. This discovery disproves the theory that canoe burials could only have been used after Spanish colonization and confirms ethnographic and historical evidence that they were practiced throughout pre-Hispanic South America. The remains were found at an excavation site called Nguyen Antoc, near Lake Laca in western Argentina. The wooden canoes of that time, known as Wempus, were hollowed out using fire. According to the analysis, the woman at the time of death was from 17 to 25 years old, but the cause of death could not be determined. They also found a jar near the head and almost 600 shared pieces of wood from a single Chilean cedar. The find is indeed unusual because most canoe burials were for men. Previous research has shown that burying people in canoes was part of a ritual to allow the dead to make their final journey through mystical waters to another land known Lafkin, where they would live in a place known as a destination of souls. People with Black Blood Lake Titicaca is located high in the Andes at an altitude of more than 3,800 meters. It is very large and cold. One of the highest mountain lakes in the world is located between Bolivia and Peru, in a place that has long been inhabited by Indians. Its shores are inhabited by the Quechua and Aymara tribes, which are descendants of the Inca civilization. But in the very heart of the lake live strange people who do not communicate with others and consider themselves representatives of a different kind and not the human race. The Uru people speak the dead language of Pukina. 
which was probably used by the inhabitants of Tibanaka civilization, a very ancient and powerful Indian culture. It was one of the first Andean empires. Its inhabitants created a large-scale irrigation system and megalithic stone city. It is assumed that the Uru are the Iraq descendants of the Tiwanaku Empire, which once ruled all the central Andes. According to local residents, the Uru have always been here, and all their lives they kept apart and lived on the lake. According to historians, the Uru Indians were driven from the plains to the marshlands, and then they went to the lake altogether, away from those conquerors. They've adapted to life on makeshift floating islands, even though it's not easy. The water temperature in the mountain reservoir reaches only 10 degrees, and sometimes it is covered with ice near the coast. However, hermits claim that they do not feel the cold, as they have some superpowers that others do not. They call themselves lake dwellers, which in their language sound like cat's hun. According to the representatives of the tribe, they are special, completely different from the people around them creatures. A French explorer who traveled through the Peruvian Andes met with these people and studied their way of life. And they assure that they had nothing to do with human creatures at all, since their ancestors were on Earth much earlier than humans. According to the beliefs of the Uru, they inhabited the planet when there were no civilizations, the stars were only recently born, and there was darkness everywhere. They are ancient creatures that used to have a different appearance, but gradually acquired human features. The Uru identify with their stone gods and think that they are representatives of the silicon life form. That is why they do not feel cold and wind and can live in extreme conditions. They have black blood flowing inside them, and their heads are of a different shape. They speak a language incomprehensible to other Indians because it is not human. The researchers recorded all this from their words. Fort Banga it is now one of the most popular tourist destinations in India. Because of this, the local authorities even banned visits to the city at night. This is probably due to several stories after which it gained the glory of a cursed place. Banga was found in 1573 in the state of Rajasthan during the reign of King Bhagwan Das. He was to become the royal residence for the second son. The fort had temples, palaces, many gates, picturesque land at the foot of the mountain. But despite this, by 1783, not a single inhabitant remained in the fort, and the peasants moved the houses to another place. The monk Baba Balnev cursed the city. He authorized the construction of the fort, but on the condition that its walls and houses would not cast a shadow over his sanctuary. In case of violation, Baba threatened to destroy the city. Naturally, a descendant of the king disobeyed him, erecting walls higher than planned. The city was overtaken by a curse. It is believed that the relics of the monk are buried in the ruins of Banga. According to another story, the wizard Senga fell passionately in love with Princess Ratnawati, mistress of Banga. He cast a spell on her favorite perfume so that just touching them, she fell in love with him. But Ratnavati found out about this and thwarted the plan. The grieved and offended lover cursed the fort and all its inhabitants. To remove the curse, he needed to find a new incarnation of Princess Ratnavati, who moved into another body, returned her to the fort, and so put an end to all misfortunes. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to see the new video. Leave your kind comments, which I always read. Thanks for your views. Bye, everyone.